So to give a little context on this story, this actually happened in 2015. I was in Missouri. This was the first year I've ever hunted Missouri. I actually was here in October, had an awesome hunt. I'm eventually going to have that hunt up on here as well. But uh, I had a great time hunting, but I filmed the rest of the year and wasn't able to come back until late season. The good thing about Missouri season is it lasts until January 15th, middle of January every year. So um, I knew I'd had seven days leading up to the end of season to try it. Now, a couple things. My goal was to kill a Pope and young deer. And to lead you into this day, what had happened the days previous, it was cold, really cold. I'm talking single digits to negative temperatures cold. I saw a lot of deer, but there was an area that I wanted to get into, i.e. this area, where there was destination food. The wind was bad for like four days and we couldn't get in there. So we hunted a fringe, hunted an uh, observation stand where I felt like we could still make it happen, but still see what the deer were doing and monitoring them. That's what we did. Eventually, we got the wind we needed, moved down the ditch a couple hundred yards, got right on this destination food, and then I'm going to let it take it from here. stand we know all these deer are coming to this wheat field so we moved the stand here yesterday and there's this really good crossing runway here at 15 yards and we know this is what they're using so we're just hoping something shows up we're gonna sit tight hopefully the deer are moving they gotta feed so hopefully they're still moving and, and uh, we'll see we'll see what we can do Some deer working into the field. Right over there. That's where they were working in last night too. A couple does. Man, there's a big body. Oh, it's a shed buck. A lot of these bucks are shedding already. That looks like a big body old deer. What is it? 58 degrees right now? It's January. Well, tomorrow's the last day of Missouri season. It's January 14th, I think. Yes! Wow, how I talk about happened fast. Let me just give you a little rundown of what just happened. We come in here tonight thinking, well, get one more shot. It's 58 degrees. <laughs> I just killed a pretty good buck, I think. I'm pretty happy. 
just happened? Dude, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what to do right now. Thanks a lot, buddy. Good shot, right? That's what I thought. This is where I made a few mistakes. I get down out of the tree. I heard the deer go down. You could hear the big crash. I look at the arrow. This was mistake number one. The arrow had a lot of blood on it, but also had stomach matter on it. I probably should have backed out. I heard the deer go down. I took that at face value. I didn't wait long enough. I waited maybe 30 minutes, maybe not even that long. And then I took up the blood trail. Blood here. Good blood. Some meat. Went right through here. Blood here. Blood there. Looks like he laid down right there. I see a lot of blood on the hillside. I bet you he went up in that CRP field. We're gonna have to back out. I say we just back out. We'll back out. Go get the truck, give him some time. Cause if he's in that CRP, he's gonna be tough to track. We need to give him some time. It's a lot of blood right there. I know it was a good hit. I think we just took it up a little too quick. But we're gonna back out. We'll get the truck and some lights and come back. Obviously, I must have bumped him. I made a mistake getting out of the tree too early, not reading the arrow right and should have backed out right away. He wasn't in the bed. I was. Too anxious, wanted to take the blood trail up. Obviously, I bumped him. I knew where he went as far as direction. He went right into our CRP field. And you know how hard it is to find blood in CRP. So I didn't want to keep bumping him. So obviously, decided to back out. Need to wait a little while. Come back. It's cold. The shot's good enough. It's a fatal shot. I figured we'd come back. We'll find him right in the CRP field. Well, it's been about four and a half hours since I shot that buck tonight. And... Uh... So we just backed out, came back. We decided to come up in the CRP field and just pick up blood. We found blood right here, so we're just gonna take it until, until we can find him, honestly. He shouldn't be that far. I feel like it's a pretty good hit. Arrow shows good, good blood, so we'll see. Right there. Right here, right here, a lot of blood right here. He must have stopped right here. This is good blood. Right here. Hey, right there he is. I knew he wouldn't be up here far. <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at this buck. Oh, man. Wow, I'll tell you what. Look at this thing. It's kind of stiff. Don't want his antlers to pop off. <laughs> Look at this, he's a great eight point. Real tall off his head. Great brows, good, good mass. Tomorrow's the last day of Missouri season. And here he is. Great buck. That's awesome. He's a fighter, I'll tell you. He's got some uh, damage to his base here. I was, I was really worried. I mean, the shot was good, but then when we walked up and saw that bed, I just didn't know what to think. We must have bumped him. And honestly, from that bed to here is probably 80 yards. He didn't go very far. We just, you know, we just couldn't see him. Man, this is my first out of state buck. And my biggest buck to date, honestly. I can't thank Steven enough for letting me come and hunt and everything. And this is awesome. I mean, I couldn't be happier, honestly. We went up there in that CRP field, found a little bit of blood, and honestly, it didn't take us long. We went right to him. He must have, I must have bumped him out of that bed, and he didn't actually go that far. And it was a fatal enough shot. But I look back and I kick myself in the butt. I messed up. Uh, it could have been worse than what it was, but uh, you know, I'm glad I found him. And like I said, I couldn't be happier. I achieved my goal. This deer scored right over 125. You know, 
and that's not what it's all about for me. But at this point in, in time, I had never killed a 125 inch buck in my life. So that was my goal. He's my biggest deer at the time. And fun fact, he's actually was the first initial logo to the fall podcast. So if you guys have been listening from the beginning, the logo that I had, this was that buck. So this deer meant a lot to me. He, and he still does. He looks great on the wall. It's an awesome story. And I couldn't be happier. And it really fueled the fire for my late season. This was like my first really late season deer. And uh, with a couple hiccups and a couple mistakes on my end, it worked out pretty good. You live and you learn. So I appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys are into podcasts, go check out the Fall Podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you download podcasts. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you know when I put up a new video. So this won't be the last. There'll be more videos coming up. Guys, greatly appreciate all the support, and uh, we'll see you right here next time.